welcome back to my channel um i thought today maybe i could share with you guys my favorite bronzers if you didn't know my favorite makeup products are foundation and bronzer they're probably like my if i had to pick anything that would be my top favorite beauty products um so i thought it'd be fun to share with you my favorite bronzers because everyone loves to look sun-kissed and bronze these days so i thought yeah it'd be perfect timing to show you my favorite bronzers coming up to summer now so yeah let's get started <laughs> so my first bronzer that i'm going to show you um i know that in my last video i didn't really show you guys like drugstore alternatives to foundations because to be honest i don't really um like most of my favorite bronzers aren't from the drugstore they are a bit higher end um so i included this bronzer that i don't use as much now but i have loved in the past and this is drugstore so this is from the brand bourgeois um they're a drugstore french brand they're from paris and this is the poudre bronzant i don't know why i'm speaking the french but it's basically a bronzing powder <laughs> um so it says filled with glints of sunshine so this is a really beautiful matte bronzer that looks like chocolate and actually when you first get this it does smell a little bit like the um too faced bronzer like the chocolate soleil one and it has a beautiful color to it it's not too cool toned it's not too warm it's really perfect in between it has a little bit of shimmer in it but it doesn't transfer on the skin it just gives the skin really beautiful natural skin like feel to it so i really recommend this one if you guys are looking for a cheaper bronzer from the drugstore this one's actually very good quality for drugstore bronzers and it doesn't look patchy it just blends really lovely into the skin when i was first yeah starting out on makeup this was like my favorite bronzer and i remember back in the day a lot of youtubers kind of talked about it i'm pretty sure bourgeois is i'm not if i'm not mistaken um whoever like does the manufacturing stuff for Chanel it's similar to Bourgeois I'm pretty sure they're linked somehow um, I don't know how but yeah they are linked somehow so I think that yeah they're kind of similar consistency and I feel like this brand for a drugstore it has really great makeup it is more on the pricier side for drugstore I think I definitely really like their makeup their makeup's really beautiful so my next bronzer that I'm going to talk about is a very big cult favourite in the beauty world, the Laguna Bronzer by NARS. So I actually have never owned a single of it, I don't think. I don't think I've ever owned a single Laguna Bronzer. I only have it in this palette that I got from one of the NARS collections. Oh, blinding you guys. But that's my Laguna Bronzer there. But basically um this is the virtual domination palette a cheek palette i don't think you can get this anymore i'm pretty sure it was limited edition or something like that laguna bronzer basically is a beautiful beautiful bronzer kind of similar to the bourgeois one where it um basically is not too cool tone not too warm it um has a beautiful bronzy sheen if you're looking for that beautiful bronze kind of sun-kissed look and it's matte as well so this one doesn't have any shimmer in, into it but it doesn't make the skin look really flat it still makes the skin look really beautiful and yeah healthy just yeah it blends really lovely into the skin doesn't look patchy it's a great one if you're starting out on makeup um and you kind of just want a matte bronzer i feel like a lot of people kind of scared of bronzers with shimmers but i don't think you should be scared at all because how a product looks in the pan and how it swatches in your hand is totally different to how it transfers on the face so um yeah so if you are looking for a matte bronzer this is a great one <laughs> my next one that i really 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 love is the mac um mineralized skin finish so this actually isn't a bronzer there's a lot of great mac bronzers but i don't know why i love the darker skin finish colors for a bronzer so i have the medium tan um 
So this, yeah, is basically the mineralized skin finishes, which are powders from MAC. Um, they give a really beautiful skin-like finish. They don't look really matte. They make the skin look really kind of, yeah, just kind of... I never know how to describe a skin-like finish, but basically just looks like... Gives your skin a healthy glow, essentially. So, this is in the color medium tan. And looks like this. So, this is one of the um, powders. But it's a darker color that I use to bronze. So, I also have dark in this. So, the color dark. And I really like that, especially from tan, because this one is kind of like... This could essentially be my powder at the moment, but when I'm a bit lighter, this is a really nice natural kind of bronze. If you want it a bit darker, then I'd go for the dark. Um, I do have that one, but I just can't find it. <laughs> but that one's really nice if you want like a deeper bronze kind of tan. Um, but because these are powders, they... The, um, the consistency of them, they blend really beautiful into the skin. They don't look like you're wearing makeup. Um, just looks very natural and just, yeah, the powders are very fine in the mineralized skin finish range. I really like this range. So I feel like they're just perfect to give that really natural sun-kissed look. So another one I really love is the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. So um, a lot of you guys know um, this is very popular. I mean, a lot of beauty gurus talk about this because it is amazing, especially if you're starting out with makeup, a lot of people kind of go for like the Nars Laguna or the Hoola by Benefit. Um, and, and again, these bronzers that I've showed you, they're all kind of on the matte side. So they have no shimmer in them. They um, just, yeah, basically give a bronze color but without the sheen. Um, and this, yes, is basically a matte bronzer. So they actually do have um, a lot of different shades now since this one was released years and years ago. So they have the Hoola Light and they have another one now. So they have a lot of different um, shades to complement a lot of different skin tones. Um, so yeah, I would really recommend this one because yeah, again, it's not patchy, blends really beautiful, not too cool tone, not too warm. It just gives like a really gorgeous sunkissed look. Another favorite of mine is basically the hourglass bronzers. So if I were to pick any bronzer, like a powder bronzer, this would be my favorite. I always reach for this bronzer. I probably reach for this every single day for like the last year. I absolutely love their bronzers. Basically, Hourglass is kind of like a high-end um, makeup brand. I feel like they're more on the high end, a bit more pricey than other brands sold at Mecca or Sephora and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so I really love their powders because most of their powder products have a photoluminescence technology that mimics a different type of lighting on the skin. So if you look at their powders, they have a lot of different names, um, like luminous bronze light, radiant light, dim light, and yeah, so all of their powders are supposed to mimic a different type of lighting on the skin, um, and they're kind of known really well for their finishing powders and what the bronzes essentially are, are the finishing powders and a bronze color mixed in with them so that's what you see in the pan basically the lighter shade is their finishing powder and the darker shade is the bronze so when you use this you just swell your brush in it and you just apply onto the skin and i always show um people this and they kind of swatch it on their hand they're like oh no, that's way too shimmery for me. Don't like that. And I'm just like, don't judge it by how you swatch it um, on your hand and how it looks in the pan because how it looks in the face, tr it transfers completely differently. So I kind of just put this on their skin and they're just like, wow, okay, that looks amazing. And I'm just like, yeah, exactly. It doesn't look muddy. You can't really see where it starts and finishes because the powders are so finely milled. They just blend like a dream on the skin and they give the most beautiful bronze sun-kissed goddess skin, basically. 
Um, so my favorite that I always go for is a luminous bronze light, but I also love the radiant bronze light, but this one is for like when I'm quite tan because it is much darker than the luminous bronze light. I feel like the um, luminous bronze light, I would kind of always recommend to someone with olive warm skin tones that love that really sun kissed luminous skin type of look. Um, so this is a luminous bronze light and this is the radiant bronze light um, But for some reason on camera, it's kind of showing that this one's a bit lighter But personally overall, I feel like all the powders in this palette are a bit more They're a bit darker in person um, And they transfer a bit darker on the skin as well um, But you can build these up so beautifully They um, you can wear them really light and you can build them up really lovely and they won't look patchy or yeah basically they're just amazing yeah these two are a bit more on the like like warmer orangey side if you really love that like orange not orange but you know what i mean that warmer sun kiss type of look um they're a bit more warmer than the previous bronzes i've showed you but they do have um colors such a nude bronze light which is a bit more on the cooler tone and that one's a a matte one so i believe that's the only matte bronzer they have in their range but the rest are a bit more they have that sheen and shimmer in them that when you apply it to the skin there's not big chunks of glitter on the skin but they give the skin a really beautiful lit from within glow basically all their powders just make your skin look like your skin is photoshopped and beautiful and glowy oh i just can't get over their powders their powders are amazing so my next favorite is a bit more on the bougier side if you are a bougie gal and you love the bougie kind of makeup life <laughs> Um, which I can relate to. <laughs> so my favorite from Guerlain is their terracotta bronzers. I think this was a summer collection they did, but I love their original Guerlain terracotta bronzers. So I feel like Guerlain's kind of underrated. Maybe it's because it's really expensive is why a lot of people don't really go for it, but I feel like their makeup's really nice. Like, I love their primers, their, especially their powders, their blushes and their bronzers, I'm I've been really impressed by in the past. So this one is the Bronzing Powder Duo, Duo Face and Decolleté. So this is one of the limited edition kind of bronzers they did. So it comes in this beautiful wooden packaging um, and yeah, basically it's magnetic and it has bronzer which has a little bit of a sheen to it, but again, that doesn't transfer on the skin. It gives the skin a really beautiful skin-like finish, and it has like a peach kind of color in the middle. So you can double this up as a bronzer and a blush, which is great, or you can mix it all and wear it as a blush. Um, the lady also kind of mixed this all together and put it on my skin as a bronzer, and it still look really beautiful. I, yeah, I really like their bronzers. I feel like they're just really buttery and they glide on the skin so beautifully. Um, so I would really recommend Girl Art if you are kind of, you know, you love that kind of luxurious makeup lifestyle and yeah, you want to look for something a bit more high end um, that's going to give you amazing quality makeup, Girl Art, definitely check them out. The favorite of mine, which is a bit more on the bougier side, um, this has actually been my favorite for years and years, ever since I got into beauty and makeup. It was one of my first um, high-end makeup purchases and yeah, I feel like a lot of beauty gurus like talk, like I don't know if they talk about it as much anymore, but a lot did back in the day um, about how amazing it is because it honestly is amazing. Um, and this pot lasts you for so long. I can't get enough of this bronzer. I think I'll repurchase this for the rest of my life. But this is the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. Basically is a cream to powder bronzer. And it is super beautiful and natural for Chanel. To be honest, most of Chanel's makeup is very natural. Um, which I don't know why but when I was younger I used to think like high-end makeup was kind of a bit more like intense but this one 
it just looks so natural on the skin and it kind of gives you like an illusion like you're already like you're sun kissed but you didn't apply makeup if you know what I mean like it just gives you really natural like this is like the definition of natural bronze um I love this I literally like I'm a bit speechless about it because I feel like it's just yeah it's a bit underrated it is amazing um i mean chanel their makeup is really good but because you know it's a bit pricey people don't really go for it as much but i feel like this is so worth the money because this lasts you so long i mean like i haven't even hit pan on this yet it's amazing um so i'll do swatches and stuff for you guys as well by the way just um on top of these videos so you can see the color and the finish of these bronzes but this one is just so so beautiful if i'm going to recommend anything it would be the hourglass um bronzes and the chanel um sole de tan last product that i'm going to talk about um is also from hourglass but i kind of kept the cream products to last um so this is the Hourglass Illum Sheer Color Trio in Sunset. So this is also a very popular one by Hourglass. Um, and this is a cream trio of a bronzer, blush and highlight. These are really beautiful because they just blend really lovely into the skin. If you're looking for something a bit cheaper, um, but more on the high end scale of Mecca, Sephora and stuff like that. This bronzer is really beautiful and obviously with this set, you, you can only get this bronzer with this set by the way, but um, it comes with a beautiful blush and a highlighter. So if you're a cream gal and you love to be a bit more natural because creams somehow look a bit more natural on the skin because they kind of just blend and mix with your oils a bit better I think um, and they just look a bit more creamy and hydrated it does look eventually more natural on the skin so if you are that more natural gal i definitely would recommend this because you have all of your face kind of products in one palette um yeah this bronzer is really beautiful and just all of these are really gorgeous but especially if you're looking for a cream bronzer this one is yeah pretty amazing that is all the products that i'm going to talk about today for bronzers guys let me know if you like this video like and comment below and subscribe if you want to see more of me that would be really helpful um yeah i'm trying to make my videos better for you guys make the background a little better just put a bit more effort into editing and stuff for you um but yeah i really hope you guys are liking my videos i've gotten really great response since starting my channel and i'm just so grateful for anyone that's reached out to me and messaged me and saying that they love my videos and my content and yeah i'm just really grateful guys honestly i appreciate it so much your kind words yeah they never go unnoticed so um thank you for all of those have reached out to me and um yeah today i was actually meant to be filming like a mukbang for you guys but i've had a bit of um, and indulge the last couple of days so I think I'm just gonna put that off for another time so that's why I filmed this video um, but yeah that will come in the future I'll be doing like a mukbang with um, basically yeah like an advice kind of yeah advice and mukbang kind of video if you know what I mean yeah <laughs> um, I mean I, like I don't really want to sit and like not talk so I'll do like a mukbang where like, I'm giving advice as well while we eat and I might have a little special guest on that as well so watch out for that guys and yeah I think that's all yeah I'll see you guys in my next video so bye and thank you for watching yeah I've been on a